Hey there YouTube fans, Stacy Productions here. And today I'm gonna be showing you on how to install the Asus X3 sound speakers into your helmet. If you guys are enjoying this type of contact, please smash that like button and also consider subscribing. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. All right guys, let's get back to the video. So let's get started on installing uh, the speakers of the X uh, Asus X Sound 3s. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my um, the speakers that came with the card. I'm gonna remove those out. Now, if you happen to have this helmet, the Rafa 11 Pro, it's gonna be pretty much uh, simple. Uh, as you can see, I have a little setup going on over here. You're not, you may not have this setup at all because I don't think of anybody else that has this little amplifier. So let's go ahead and remove the speakers on the inside. So what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, on the inside of the helmet right here there's gonna be this little padding you want to just remove it well at least I have the padding on mine because I was trying to uh, quiet on the make it a little bit more quieter with the wind noise so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that little padding if you happen to have it remove it if you don't have it there then don't worry about it and then next we're gonna do is we're going to remove the speakers so take that out as you can see there it is and then pretty much the way you had put them in just take them out that same way so let me go ahead and start removing these obviously you want to do that for both sides and then I'll show you what to do next okay now that we have got them out of our little uh, pockets in the helmet here they are so you're gonna go ahead and disconnect this from the unit plugs right over here so just go ahead and unplug it and there you go you release the speakers from the the comm system so i'm gonna go ahead and put these off to the side for now now what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our new set of speakers which are right here the only thing is is that it's kind of a shame that we have to cover this because we have to put the velcro piece on there or else i would have liked to seen this out so i think it just looks it looks really cool with having that that uh, brushed aluminum uh, silver and having that logo on there you're gonna have a speaker that's uh is gonna be labeled let me go ahead and get these out of here and uh oh, a little covering just came off right there all right so let me give you a little bit of close-up so you guys could see uh these speakers so as you can see this one is labeled right r for right and then at the bottom it says high definition helmet audio if you guys could see that a little bit then this one is with the l and that's for the left side and it also says the same thing here at the bottom then if we flip those speakers over there is no lettering or anything over here but those other speakers then it has you know enough cabling and then it has a three and a half millimeter audio cable jack and it's at an angle and then it also has this like little velcro piece that we're going to remove anyway so let's just go ahead and remove that it's up to you if you guys want to use this again but i'm just going to keep it off to the side once you uh, undo the, the little velcro piece you're going to notice that the one speaker is going to be longer than the other because obviously one speaker is going to be more closer to the comm unit while the other one's going to go to the other side of the helmet all right so just for comparison on the other speakers so here's the ones that came with the cardo the jbl and you can see that the shape of it it's not a real it's not even a circle it looks like it might be an, a weird oval shape these are 40 millimeters millimeter size speakers while these are 45 millimeter speakers from the X sound threes so in the front you could see the differences already this is more of a circle shape and this is more of a oddly shaped oval and then when you turn them around on the other side this has a nice brushed aluminum and it has like little ridges over here you could kind of feel kind of feels really nice and this part's uh, all aluminum uh, behind here you have velcro and it seems to be some kind of aluminum back there i'm not really going to remove this because i don't want to mess them up even though i may i may use these for a different application not really for my helmet but back here there's some kind of metal like and then when you look at it like this you could see this a lot thinner foam because you can actually see the little holes at the back and that's the plastic where the speaker's at and this one has like more of a foam padding a little bit more thicker before you even actually get to the speaker so again on the thickness and then if we wanted to we could actually remove the covering on this one all right go ahead and remove that and there you guys have it so there you go that's that's how the speaker looks like for the x x sound three and this one i have no idea how it looks like all I know, it looks like there's some plastic with holes on it, and the speaker's probably even smaller. Well, obviously, it is 5 millimeters smaller. And if I were to kind of just put it over, it actually, you know, just a weird shape, really. You can see it sticks down a little bit more here. I doubt that that's a speaker part down there, more plastic, probably. Then you could see the aluminum and all these, like, holes over here. So there's some holes over here, one hole there. Some more holes over by the cable and another hole on this side. And I'm not sure that this has any holes at all. I think it's just all plastic. It doesn't feel like there's anything there. Just showing that the kind of the quality of this speaker is more premium uh, compared to these uh, so-called quality JBLs from, uh, from, from Cardo. 
Okay, so first things first, we do need to make sure that these speakers go inside the helmet and that they don't move around. As you can see inside the helmet, the uh, speaker is gonna be a little bit of padding here. If, if your helmet doesn't have anything in here, then we're gonna definitely use most of everything in there. But because this helmet does have the fuzzy side already built into this helmet, we're gonna only be using one part. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and we need to attach the Velcro to the speaker. And therefore we're gonna be covering this. Uh, that's why I say it's kind of a shame. Gonna go over here, grab some of the accessories out of here. Let's grab it all so you're gonna notice there's gonna be these two circles these are the sticky parts and then there's gonna be four pads in here you could actually take these off or unstick them from each other which is gonna be like that i don't think you can unpeel it from here as this is like a foam you got the soft side over here and then you got that rough side on this side so for my application we're really not going to show it but i'll show you to you i'll show you guys anyway uh so we're going to be using this piece now where if you notice that it's a very thin piece it's a sticky tape on both sides of this this is actually a very thin rough part so it's going to look like this on one end and then soft on the other and you could actually peel this apart there you guys go you see all right, so I undid the white paper, so I'm just going to go ahead and undo the rest of it. There we go. So now it's the sticky part. All right, so now we have to go ahead and cover this very nice aluminum with the name on there. Ah, super shame, but got to do it. All right, so you're just going to go ahead and you're going to make sure that you, you make sure that it is centered, and then you're going to go ahead and stick it on there. So the camera's in my way. I'm going to go ahead and do one, and then I'll show you how it looks like. All righty, guys, so here's how it looks like. It's already all covered up. Now that it's already covered up, I'm gonna, I could go ahead and peel this part off and uh, just have the, the hard part. But as you could already see, like I said, such a shame to cover the nice brushed aluminum. Not that we're gonna be able to see it once we have it in the helmet, but oh well. All right, so now that we already got this on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of really get in there and then just peel um, the other part of this off. And I'm gonna keep this other part on there. I know it's going to start to come apart, but I try to do the best I can. It's kind of sticking this back onto the white paper. Alrighty, so there we go. Okay, so now we're left with the rough part on the speaker. All right, so you guys want to do the same thing with the other one. Just look for the side that you guys need and uh, stick that side onto your speaker. Okay, now that we got all of the, the, the circled the Velcro uh, sections already on there, now, it's up to you, really, if, if the reason to use these pads, if you case in your helmet, maybe you put it inside the helmet, and here is your ear, and it's yet a little too far, and you want it a little bit more closer to your ear. Now that we got this part on it, you could actually attach this. You could see how thick the foam is, and if you attach it on here like this, therefore, it gives you a little bit more padding. Therefore, it could bring it more closer to your ear. That's why they give you four pieces, two for each side, in case you need to add another piece to make it even more closer. Say you put that one piece on there and it's just not quite there yet. Now your ear is here and it's just a little bit, but you want it kind of touching your ear. Well, therefore you could go ahead, add another piece, put it right here. And then now it's touching your ear when you put it on your helmet. So that's why you get those pieces. So it, it actually helps a lot. So for me, I don't know yet if I'm gonna need these uh, spongy spacers yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them into my helmet and then I'll do a test fit and see how close they are to my ear or if they're already pressing my ear and then I wouldn't need these. So same thing with yours. If you put it, your, uh, this into your helmet and it's already kind of close to your ear or wherever it's you know preferable for you, then you don't need to put those spacers. All right, so next things first, we're gonna go ahead as we are going to attach so short side is going to always be closest to the to the unit and the other longer side is always going to go furthest to the other side so i'm going to go ahead and do that you guys do the same so pretty much what you're going to do you're going to go ahead grab your speaker oh there's already attaching to this part and you're going to position it where it's most comfortable for or you know where you think it's going to be most comfortable is like if you have kind of a bigger pocket in your speaker area uh, just position it uh, there and then you're going to route the cables alongside the helmet around here and then attaching it here so let me go ahead and do that once i have everything set up i'll try to do the best i can on getting the camera inside the helmet so you could see the exact position of where i have it Alrighty, guys i already got everything already installed in there and i did do a little extra which i'll show you in a second but let me go ahead and flip this over and i already got all the cables all nicely routed and i have it coming out here now your setup is going to be a lot different than what i have going on here it's because i do have an amplifier external amplifier set up with mine so yours you may not have this you're you 
probably just gonna have your comm unit and you could just route all the cables if you can tuck them inside so they'll be out of sight like over here i have it really tucked inside in here so you'll have the same on your helmet all right so now the little extra that i did for my helmet i'm gonna try to uh, get this angle to kind of show you now you could see here is where the speaker is and i have a piece of foam uh going right over the speaker so i did decide to use one of the little pads so i used one on this side just to bring the the speaker a little bit closer to my ear and then i use one the same thing so pretty much on both ends i used an extra pad just only one you may need to use two that's why they give you four but for me i just needed to use one so I used one on each and that brought the speaker just a little bit more closer and then besides that i decided to put that foam piece this one came from a different helmet this was from my showy rf 1200 that was the original padding that was there you would have this one you know this one or that particular one before putting speakers they have the little pads in there so to put the speakers you would have to remove this pad put a speaker inside that little pocket but for me like that one i decided to use because the the foam is a little bit like more of a i would say like a not see-through but kind of like a the audio would come out a little bit more uh it's not as dense as this one this one has like more denser material so maybe the speaker it would almost be like uh, the speaker would the music would have to kind of like really push through to kind of get through this kind of particular padding as of that one it's a little bit more like airy and and, and the sound could kind of go through it a little bit more easier so that's what i put there so let me go ahead and remove that so you guys could see what i'm talking about what i have behind here so i'm gonna go ahead and remove that so if i remove it you could see right there there's a speaker right there and i do have the pad the, the little pad right behind us let me go ahead and remove that so you guys could see the padding that i have behind it which is the one that actually came with the speaker system remove that out there so you could see you could see right let me zoom in a little bit more and there you guys could see i put the extra that little pad that i was talking about i put it right there so it kind of push the speaker more closer towards my ear so it's right there so let me go ahead and put that back in there and then let me show you on the padding over here itself so this is like i said this is a more like thinner material as you could see right there uh this one is thin as well but oops <laughs> let me get all this stuff out there um but this is like a little bit more thicker as this is like pretty thin you could just smash it with your finger and i guess it's like a lot more like you know flexible compared to a little more stiffer that's the reason for that so i decided to use this one again this was from my showy rf 1200 this padding is pretty is from the, the rafa 11 pro now you're asking why am i putting the pad back on there now the reason for it is because on this particular helmet it's just so airy I keep on seeing videos that saying how much airflow is going through this helmet not necessarily to cool your head really it's just the the noise of air is just circulating through this helmet like crazy and that you know after 60 miles an hour all i hear is just wind noise so by putting this pad because you could see over here there's like it's like pockets let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more so you guys could see so you could see all these empty pockets and you definitely don't want that you want to have, kind of have everything covered so that way the air doesn't have a way to kind of get in so by putting this cover piece on there so i put the cover and uh, i put the wider there you go sorry for the unfocusing but let me zoom out so you guys spit so this wider part i put towards the back and the skinnier part i put towards the front as you can see kind of like the triangle piece in there that wider part is towards the back and the you know pointier part is towards the front so i'll put this part in later but pretty much uh, let me just flip the helmet over to the other side so you guys can see the other side on how it looks like this is how it, i showed you before i had removed that piece so so there we go uh, let me go put the light up there all right so pretty much i was I'm, I'm what i'm doing with that foam piece is i'm trying to cover up all the the areas that are you know like a hole to to not allow any air to get in there so i have yet to test it out but this is kind of my theory that it, as long as there's no pockets or any like you know empty crevices area for air to get into that would kind of limit the, uh, the amount of air that's circulating through the helmet not necessary to cool me down but you know for me not to hear it really uh so that's that's the big main part uh besides that i do wear earplugs so that also helps on you know limiting limiting the amount of air right here in the helmet and yeah so that's it so that's the reason for the this piece so you guys could go ahead and try you know different the things if you have a very noisy helmet uh, i wouldn't say this is a extremely noisy but it, it's pretty up there uh, i may try to see if i could put something over there to kind of cover this little pocket area right there because that looks like a little area for air to get into so that's pretty much my take i don't want to go too much into it but yeah so i'm just trying to limit the amount of area where uh, air could get in and make noise so that pretty much concludes let me go ahead and put that piece back on it before i forget all right so that pretty much concludes the video and if you're looking in the box you do get an extension cable with your system in case you do want um, to run a little bit longer cable or say you don't have a comm unit but yet you want some speakers in your helmet and you're going to hook up your old ipod or if you have a phone that still uses this type of connector you're still able to use your speakers uh, and this gives you enough cable to kind of put your uh, connect to your speaker 
speakers and this part would connect you know to your audio source and then put that audio source in your pocket you don't always need to have a comm to you know enjoy speakers and, and music inside your helmet uh they kind of supply the cable for you Alrighty, guys so that pretty much concludes the video on how to install the x sound 3 speakers in your helmet i know i did a video before when i did that uh kind of upgrade on my showy rf 1200 which i still have and it is right over there i still got it and i still got the r3 as well but that helmet is pretty much mainly for my r3 and this helmet's mainly for the Jixer 1000 all right so that pretty much concludes the video guys uh stay tuned for the other videos where i actually do a review of this particular helmet then i also have another video coming up with the review of my thoughts and everything even though i kind of mentioned it today mentioned it to you in this video but more about my uh thoughts about the, the cardo edge and then i also have a video review uh and installation on how to install this uh mini uh helmet amplifier which by the way guys does a world of a difference so make sure you stay tuned for those videos all right so guys uh, that pretty much concludes it let's uh let's close it up and let me kind of just show you it here there is the pocket area uh, let me get the light in there so you guys could see so once you do all this stuff just make sure you test everything make sure that everything is nicely fitted in your helmet and in your head make sure there's no pressure points because if you have a really tight pressure point that's going to cause you to have a headache while you ride you definitely don't want that you know we know that our bikes are therapy so we just don't want to have a headache while riding because that's going to ruin the experience so if you find out that you you know go ahead and maybe put this foam piece like i did and go give it a test on, on a ride you know go for you know maybe 30 minute ride or so test it out if it works out for you guys great if it doesn't just remove it and just rock it out with the speaker